take now your son and go to the land of Moriah. And there. So I recently saw His Only Son, uh, a production of Angel Studios, the same uh, production company that puts out The Chosen, which is phenomenal. If you haven't seen The Chosen, you totally have to do that. But I wanted to watch the trailer um, and react to uh, how I felt after seeing the movie, kind of share that with you, encourage you to see it, and kind of the good and the bad. I'll tell you like it is, right? But again, my mom and I recently went to see this and I'm um, still wearing the same. Okay, maybe take, uh, here we go, Let, let's watch it. Abraham, Lord, take now your son and go to the land of Moriah. That was a cool effect, by the way. And there, offer him. The Lord came to me last night. I must go to Moriah and make a sacrifice to him there. Isaac and I will go alone. Why, Isaac? Because the Lord commands it. Make sure no harm comes to our son. The road is a dangerous place, Abraham. The Lord has set us on this path. He will guide us. This road belongs to Abimelech, King of Pelisat. I know who owns this road. I have given your king plenty of tributes. What is your name, old man? Abraham. That was a powerful part. Why go all this way? Go through all this effort? He has us do this in remembrance. That death is the penalty for sin. You believe that? It's impossible. Is anything too difficult for the Lord? What's your purpose in this? If this is your judgment on me, take my life, not his. Everyone's blind until their eyes are opened. The Lord chose that man out from the wicked that hope may endure. Take me! Man, I love that line. Everyone is blind until their eyes are open. Hey, this was a great movie. I want to give you uh, my honest uh, feedback about it. Again, went to go sit with my mom yesterday, uh, Friday, March 31st. Today's uh, April Fools, right? It's April 1st today. Hopefully, I get this video out today. But I, I want to give you that feedback. Um, again, same uh, production studio uh, as The Chosen, so it's highly anticipated, right? So the Chosen is phenomenal. And one of the things that Angel Studios does really well, and again, this uh, I don't know if you knew this but this movie his only son was uh the budget was only two hundred fifty thousand dollars, right so this, this it was done on a really tight budget but what they really do well is they give you insight into the raw emotions of what the biblical characters um must have been feeling right because we don't always get that like we get pictures of it we sometimes see that um like when david in the psalms is lamenting and he's crying out to god and saying it feels like you're not with me and where are you and different there's a lot of different passages in the bible where we see raw emotions but we don't always see it in every character and so this story his only son again about abraham uh, God asking Abraham to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. And, and after God having told Abraham that, hey, you're going to be the father of a great nation, many nations. And, and then now we got to kill your son. Like, it's really weird because it was his only one. And so if you haven't read it, uh, read the story. Um, the We know the ending, right? I'm not giving anything away here. God ultimately, uh, it's a test, right? He doesn't um, have to end up killing him. But the emotion behind it, the significance behind it, the foreshadowing behind it really is, is amazing. And so the movie starts out with um, Abraham being asked by God to take his son, uh, Isaac, and sacrifice him. And so he's telling Sarah this, um, Sarah this, and, and she's obviously against it. They leave. But then what the movie does so masterfully is it takes you back, right? It takes you back to he's on the road. Abraham's on the road and he's thinking to himself like, man, why would this, why would God do this? Like, and, and you see glimpses of, of all the raw emotions they had while not being able to have a child. And, and 
And, and Sarah, by the way, really uh, runs the show. She really carries this. Um, and she has these markings on her face. And, and uh, my mom and I were talking about that. We think that when Abraham told the Egyptians that she was her, he, she was his sister and she, they took him, ended up giving her back, right? That maybe in Egypt, she was marked. And those little, little things in the movie are super cool, super cool. Like his little sayings and, and everybody's blind and their eyes are open, all these things. They do so masterfully. Again, not all of this is in scripture, but you can look into the historical context and they can gather this. You can gather raw emotions based on what happened and that's what they do so masterfully. So they, they, they it's kind of like, this is us, right? If you've ever seen that show, um, they, they uh, tell the story and then break it apart, like how it got to the story. And so this is how that whole, uh, his son is built and it's, it's great, right? So great. Um, so I encourage you to see it again. They retell the story, get all the way up to the front to where it happens, where God saves and spares his life and then foreshadows, right? Christ really. And that's what really this story ends. And, and, and again, it's not a surprise. It's in the Bible, but it's foreshadowing that Jesus gave his only son for us. But before I say to a little bit more about that, I want to tell you overall, the movie was great, but, but it was a little flat. It was a little flat, meaning that it just felt like this the whole way there, there was you know, in the trailer, you kind of see peaks and valleys and some emotional points. But even in the movie, in my opinion, at least, I'm not discouraging you from seeing this, but it felt a little flat. Moses's character was very, um, very uh, uh, monotone, if you will, kind of emotionless. And maybe that was intentional because of everything he was dealing with and him maybe always being in his head about uh, what God said and not understanding it. That could be it. He was a great actor, but it's just kind of a, you know, kind of flat. And when there were opportunities for the movie to kind of have a tense moment, there was, but it just didn't feel as tense. I don't know if, if that makes sense or not. Again, Sarah really carried the movie. Her acting was phenomenal. All the actors were great, even Isaac, but uh, it just felt a little, a little flat for me. Like it didn't feel like I didn't go through my peaks and valleys of emotions like I thought I would, even though the potential and the parts were there for this all to happen. Again, on a budget for, of 250,000, we can't expect everything. There was even a part where it sounded like the mic uh, got a little bit further away from their voices when when there was scuff there was a scuffle on the way to uh, Mariah. Um, uh, anyway, it, it's it's I love it. I love what Angel Studios is doing. And at the end of the day, the most important thing here is that this is being shown uh, in in theaters, which you know uh, Christian movies historically haven't been. And over a million dollars was raised in pre-sale tickets for this movie. And I want to encourage you to go out and see it. Go out and see it in, in the theater. Support Angel Studio. Watch this movie. Get a glimpse into what Christ, what God did for us, what Christ sacrificed on the cross for us. Easter's coming soon. And this is the perfect movie to prepare your heart for the foreshadowing. Again, the story tells the foreshadowing of Christ, his death and resurrection for us, right? That God gave his only son. And that's so important that we never forget that, that we never lose focus. And if you're here and you don't know who uh, God is, um, he loves you. Um, he sent his son to die for you so that he can take we can take the sins, our sins away, be made right with him, right? And have hope for our future. And so um, if you have any questions, please drop them comments. Maybe you saw the movie, drop the comments uh, below and, and I would love to interact with you. But again, um, go out and see it. it it's a great movie. We'll see, we'll see you soon.